Anyhow, the money was given to us by Congressman Rice. He makes a contribution. Hold on. Robert Reagan was at this meeting. Mr. Reagan just said he gave fifteen hundred dollars. That's not accounted for. That was a donation. Excuse me. Congressman Rice has is gives us. Excuse me. I've got more sense than you do. Congressman Rice gives us a donation annually. I spoke with them before I've deposited the check and asked. With, with their permission, could we take the money to help pay, excuse, to help pay for this, this website? Jerry started working on the website. There was about $1,100 total that she paid up front in order to get our website. We had, we had to buy it. It was a lot going on that we had to do. Mark, Mark. So anyhow, so anyhow, when, with, with their permission, pardon me, with their permission, with their permission, they said, use what you need of the donation, because it was a donation to the party, it's always been, in order to, to facilitate getting the website up. That was the $1,500 cash, and that, uh, Jerry explained that, that gentleman is handicapped and if you, any of you know, he only gets a certain amount of money, and if he collects, if it's a check written or whatever, he has to claim it. So that's where the fifteen hundred dollars came from. The so rest of the wrong. money, twenty-five uh, two thousand dollars, was left in the bank. Isn't that illegal? So, so anyhow, we. This is where they seem to have such a problem out of that. Now, Robert Raven oh gave God. a donation. We were talking about Jesus, the website. Jerry had, she has worked so hard during all these years to help me with the party, anything that we needed with the websites, with anything. Robert Rabin has always been willing to help the party. And he said, well, I'll tell you what, he said, I'll help any way I can. And we, we approached him with, well, Thank you, Stephen. And that's where I'm headed right now. That's where I'm headed. Um, no, no, just, just you. No. So I am, I am, I am stating right now that if the party, the party, we're going to move forward. If you want to come along with us, you're welcome. If you don't want to come along with us, then you can leave the party. I'd like to address the credit card. We have a credit card that's being automatically paid out of the checking account. For expenses that have not been approved by you, the ECs. All, all, all. All, 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 excuse me. All I've asked for is receipts. We haven't gotten it. We don't know whether they're legitimate expenses or not unless you look at receipts. We're not blaming anybody or accusing anybody of anything. We're only asking for is accountability. I will address Miss Miley. You were next. Next, next. That's all. We're still in discussion, okay? We're going to discuss this, okay? No. We're recognizing this. Can we, can we let this lady speak, please? Gail Peterson, Enterprise District. There are 
all of you up there. You were elected to do a job. It is up to all of you to be able to get together and do that. I was a county chairman. I know exactly what DREAMA has been put up with. There are certain things. The ECs can't vote on every little thing that comes along. There's got to Nobody's be asking the ECs to vote on every expenditure. We don't even have a budget, okay? <laughs> I, but can I speak, please? No, you this is what I've been up with. Or we have to just walk out the door and then let the Democrats. How about we split the room? Those who don't want to pay attention to bylaws and those that do, okay? We're a country of laws. And if you don't want to follow laws, we shouldn't be here. You are a bully. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because this is a group that comes here every month and has to put up with this, mm -hmm. and all you do is yeah. bully, bully, bully. Would you like to see the records I've asked for since May? No. Oh, I want to put forward, and so does everybody else here. I had it in my hands on the floor. I've been and he's had it longer now. Before it happens to Bethune, Mr. Bethune made a motion. I seconded it. And you just sweep it under the rug. He's talking about the Bible or go by the Bible. We're sweeping under the rug. We're going to let people. We could have settled this. We could have settled it. We could have gone over this. We could have gone home as friends. And got the party back together again. But no, you argue, you fight. No, like everybody have a say, Jim. I think there's accountability. Well, I have. I've been sitting there for quite a while. I have a lot of things. There is a problem. Well, we don't have time for the But the first thing was. Um, I'm the chairman of the bylaws committee, so a lot of this stuff falls on my shoulders and our committee. <coughs> Believe it or not, our committee works very well. We have four things that we need to, we need the ECs to pass to change the committees that we have not been able to bring before the floor since July. I know the other committees, uh, planning and long long range planning, membership, all of the all of the committees. I get calls. And we talked about what's going on. So I know the committees are working. The committees are, are trying to do what they're supposed to do, as far as I can tell. Um, second thing, and that's, that's much, much that you maybe don't see, but we very rarely have, um, as a matter of fact, all four things that we propose in the bylaws committee have passed unanimously. So there's, there hasn't been any disagreement in what we're trying to get accomplished. We just have to get it before the whole committee. Next thing, there is a tremendous amount of talent here. A tremendous amount of talent. DREAM has been doing it a long time. It has great organizational powers. Um, right down the line, you, you guys elected these people to lead and to, and to do our wish. Or, or bidding, I, I agree. I think now's the time that we set everything aside. If we need a ledger book, if we need if we need a you know, general ledger to go along with the, the uh, checkbook, then I'm sure Eric's more than capable of doing that. I think I agree with this gentleman right here. Uh, I was so happy when he stood up and said that. The only the only. Jim, one simple question. Yeah. Why have the bylaws committee if you're not going to follow the bylaws? Oh, that's a Oh, oh Harvey, come on. The bylaws are there as a guide 
the bylaws are there as a guide to help us. My answer, Harvey. 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 Yeah, not if I'm going to walk through it. If it's, if it's illegal to cross, yes. cross the street, right? if it's illegal to, to trespass, okay? And you see and you see a child dying on somebody's uh, yard, are you gonna run and help the child or are you gonna follow the law? Yeah, I, I don't care what that has to do with that. Well, it's, the, it's, the it's, 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 it
interesting right. about you were this right. committee anymore. Thank you. Thank you. If you really if you really want to unity in the party, is that what everybody wants? Well, we haven't said anything to you. Okay, so let's, let's start putting the Myrtle Beach Republican women on the website. No, we can't. So, we cannot. We can't do that. It's 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 not. It's not we never did. We never got the truth out. Well, you put the Myrtle Beach Republican women on the website. We have to sit. I'm sorry. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Steve. Steve, we have 10 minutes. Thank you, Peggy. Uh, let me ask this one person. They've been standing up. Uh, keep it very quick, honey, please. Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm new down here, uh, and I joined this party because I am a Republican, and I love Trump. And I think everybody in this room should do the same. Thank you. That's what we're here for. Not bickering about crap. You know, you want answers? Then find the answers. But right now, our most important Thank you, thank you. Brown, we had some, uh, did you have some motions on the floor that we needed to address? Uh, I, have to to I have a motion to accept the computer expense. And I think it was seconded by you. The motion is to do what now? I gotta write it down. Accept the cost of the computer program. The cash payment? Yes. 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 After it's the checks ruined yes. out the cash. Yes. 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 It was seconded. And we're moving on. Yes, Linda? Oh. All right. We have a motion and it was seconded. Any qu uh, Anybody call for the question? In discussion? It's got to be brief, Harvey, because we have to go. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. We have to get out of here. Yes. We have 14 yes, minutes. I won't take it. Terry, what the school tries? She said all night. So we had, a, we had a dysfunctional website. The ECs in March of this year recognized that we had a dysfunctional website, and we passed a motion to create spend up to five hundred dollars to create a, a new website okay the second motion was to put miriam santorelli in charge of creating that website with the chairman's approval of of the website and the content of the website okay so that was passed by the ecs by an overwhelming majority in march I asked the chairman at the time to implement that, and she said, I can't until after the convention. So we didn't until after the convention. After the convention came, all of a sudden, there's a new website, okay? No one ever came back to the ECs or to me and said that the website wasn't approved or couldn't be implemented or wasn't right. Uh, we had a motion. Uh, there was never a, any counter motion. There was never any communication. And all of a sudden, we paid either $1,500 or $3,000 no. no. for this website. Well, 4500 okay. No. Uh, no. So there's, there's at least two payments of $1,500 for, for this website, none of which the ECs have authorized. The ECs, uh, Harvey, according to our bylaws, Harvey, bylaws require
You can't vote, Mr. Chairman. There's a bylaw of regulars there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You don't vote in the back if you're not an EC. Sorry. Are you an EC? All ECs are in the first five rows. Okay. 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 Calm down. Everybody keep their hand up. I'm sorry. One, two, three. Twenty seven? I didn't count. I can't make it. How many do we have? Twenty seven. How many do we have? Twenty seven. We have more. Okay, we got a majority. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yes, sir. Hey, one quick second. Yes, sir. My name is Bill McDonald. Let's try to move forward. I do hear some good questions. Better communication. Let's finally get the, the bylaws and try to do the best we can. That's what we're here for. We've got Trump running. Yeah, guess what? That's what I'm here for, guys. Yeah, I'm here. But let me, there are some good questions. Greenland, there's some good questions. Jerry, let's work together, though. Ed, you got some good questions. Let's solve these, solve these things and move on. Work together. Let's achieve what we want to do. We need Trump 2020. Nothing else. I think that's when I can come in with my resignation. Okay. Yes. Was there another motion on the floor? Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's any other one. Okay. Uh, Matthew, did you have something? We have to move along. It's, it's literally 10 seconds. Can y'all, one, two, three, four, five, six, go sit down and have dinner and just discuss this? Okay. Okay. I'm trying to get it together. We have, we have. We have, we have. I don't know, Ben. But one of the biggest things that can come against us is if we had an IRS inspection, we're expected to deliver three years history of what our expenses are. And cash payments to the IRS is not a legitimate expense. And so if and when that happens, we'll probably be paying fines instead of spending money towards campaigning. That's one of the biggest reasons we've been going back in time and trying to collect these things. So, so we need three years history. To, to be able to move forward. I also, we also need that, yes, of even uh, the credit cards. If we're paying the credit card expenses and it's on that, I haven't been receiving those uh, credit card expenses. So we do need those. So that way we can maintain clean records for these inspections. Uh, a budget, one thing that we've been trying to do is we do have all the committees, and especially the important ones, standing. They've been voting on things, they've been moving on things. But one of the limitations at the Ways and Means Committee is he hasn't been given past expenses so he can project for future expenses. How much do we typically gain in? How much do we typically get out? We get numbers. We had this much, we spent that much, but we don't know where on, and on what until I was treasurer, I started digging into those things. So that way we could move forward. Can the people up front be quiet so we can hear? So these are, these are the things we're asking to move forward. Yes. Learn, learn from the past, whether right or wrong, but start doing things for from the future. So with that, we're we're trying to create a budget because we don't want any one position or any one area spending money just because and continuing to roll and roll and roll it. We need to know how much we're planning on collecting so that we don't ever get low and have money to for the future. So I at one part was called obstructionist because I would say, hey, we haven't had a budget for the money yet. Uh, going forward, unless there's a budget approved for it, and that's including expenses by a co-chair, I will not be second signing anything until I've received a budget. And if you want a budget, 
give the Ways and Means Committee or whoever you've picked as a chairman the information so they can create a budget. So I will not be signing, second signing any of these checks. Any expenses also above $1,000 must be signed by the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee by our own bylaws. So that means we need to have an elected chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. So, because I won't be signing that check, and it still requires two signatures by our bylaws. Yeah, so these are the things that we have to do to move forward. I recommend, based on these, that you guys tell our board that this is what we're going to do. Moving forward is obey our bylaws. Yes. Yes, you have to pay the bills of the party. I'm sorry. Uh, you do have to write checks. And by the way, when he first took over, one of the things out of his mouth was, I'll write the checks when I get ready to. And I said, no. We've had two meetings with the state executive director. She told him you have to write the checks to pay the bills of the party and whatever the business is of the party. It has to be written. So we have five minutes. Okay. That's it, Eric. All right, folks. We are now we're now in announcements, folks. Folks, we have the uh, Loris Ball Golf coming up. Everybody, listen now. You said you didn't know about it. The Loris Ball Golf. We have uh, received uh, everything on it. Uh, we have space C three. Now, how many of you are willing to go work and set up? When is it? When is it? October the nineteenth. Everything is here. How many of you ECs are willing to go and help set up? It has You have to be there at six o'clock in the morning. Now, mind you, I have done this over the years. I've always helped set it up. So anyhow, this, so, oh, excuse me, I didn't mean that just came out of my fingers. Now, the other things, our November meeting, our November meeting, our November uh, meeting will be, the, thank you, Ed, will be a general membership meeting and we will be honoring our veterans because that's to be the week before the 11th. So I'm working with Susie <coughs> Hudson from uh, Congressman Rice's office and we will honor our veterans. So thank you, Susie, for helping on that. We will not have a December meeting as always. We have had our Christmas party in December and that takes precedence. Plus there are so many other parties and events going on in December. We've never had a meeting in December. In January will be our first quarter EC meeting in January. Now, let's see, we're almost, we, we have four minutes left. So thank you all for coming out. We appreciate it very much. Sorry you had to sit through this. I know, I'm, I know it is. But anyhow, thank you. We must move on now. We've got this all out of the way. No more on Facebook, no more on social media, no more, uh, uh, da Daniel, no more. And Stop calling me out. You didn't let me speak. So anyhow. Stop addressing so, me if you're not going to let me talk. Well, you talk plenty. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, anyhow, thank you, you Ed. 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 My name is Ed O'Connor. Wait a minute. We have one person speaking. Hold on. My name is Ed O'Connor. I'm from up north. I have a company worth 25 hundred people. I've had that company for a long time. I don't know if we accomplished anything. I don't know if we accomplished anything here tonight. Believe me. Because you sound like a bunch of school kids. And this is my first time here. So if we want to accomplish anything, let's start getting together. We got one thing in mind, that's getting Donald Trump reelected. That word about who said what, where, when. Thank you. Thank you, Ed. Do we hear a motion? Sure.